thank you very much. <clears throat> so I would first like to warmly thank the conference organizers for uh, their invitation. And the topic of the talk today is the emotional gap, which is a notion I'm going to present more precisely in a few slides, but just it can be summarized and uh, briefly described at the challenge that occurs in data mining tasks, in the specific data mining tasks whose objectives are, whose aim are to go, is uh, to go from an objective representation of the data up to their uh, subjective interpretations, in particular in terms of their emotional or affective um, <coughs> content. So the motivations of uh, such wor works come from um, ge uh, general observation that has been made in psychology and cognitive sciences. That is, that emotion plays a crucial play a crucial role for uh, all um, aspects of the human life. In particular, they have uh, major influences on perception, cognition, and also at a higher level uh, at a higher level on decision making. And in particular, communication is very uh, highly influenced by the emotions. It can be to, be put, to put it in a, in a nutshell, it can be said that the richness of interactions comes from emotions and their relevance, their interest, their fruitfulness come from their affective and emotional contents. Now the problem is that computers cruelly lack this competence. And for instance, as shown here, a, com a computer cannot adapt and we re re react exactly the same whether the user is angry, frustrated, desperate, or very happy. And the objective of affective computing is nowadays to take into account this emotional part in the uh, interactions with the uh, computers. And uh, <coughs> this has been, become a very burning issue. And to illustrate it, I just wanted to mention that, for instance, uh, the latest smartwatch that has been presented, so this was no later than last week at the Dreamforce conference, so this smartwatch uh, possesses, of course, all the expected tools and functions about processing images, photos, social networks, um, fitness culture, and, and so on. But its novelty and its breakthrough, as opposed to any competitors, is the fact that it will be equipped with an emotion sensor. So this is, this is supposed to be the major uh, argument in favor of this uh, smartwatch. <coughs> so this is just to show how emotion has become very important. And this basically built the field of affective computing. <coughs> its aim can be, reduced, uh, can be summarized to the fact uh, to, of taking into account emotions in all aspects of computer and human interactions. And beyond the purely <coughs> psychological notion of emotions, it goes towards feelings, perceptions, impressions, and any subjective uh, interpretations. <coughs> this general task can be decomposed into three main subtasks. So it includes modeling emotions, expressing emotions, or recognizing emotions. So in this talk, I will basically focus 